So 2020 has been a unique year. All sorts of things have changed. We've changed the way we shop, we changed the way we take public transport, we changed the way we meet up with each other. School has changed, church has changed, and all things youth work is changing. Mm -hmm. So we have got uh, some new plans for this term, and that includes smaller life groups. Uh, we're also doing TED Talk and discussion nights. We've got Bible reading kickstart, not to mention the social action days, as well as the return of immerse after hours and ecstatic Sunday mornings. So we've prepared six short videos uh, telling you more about what's going on. So keep watching. So we've decided to start something new called Life Groups. Uh, they will be smaller social groups that you get to meet with on a regular basis every two weeks and there'll be people that you can do life together with. You can talk through your week about the highs, about the lows and have an opportunity to pray through uh, whatever you'd like to. Um, they will be only during term time and you get to meet after school or even in the evenings. So we'll um, be in contact with you shortly in the next couple of weeks to let you know what group you'll be in and what leaders you'll be working with. We believe it is important for you guys to have the time and the space to be able to discuss topics that really matter to you. To not only hear from each other, but also to hear from experts, people with real knowledge and experience in particular issues. So twice a term, we want to gather together at church on Thursday evenings from 7.30 for input on specific topics like the environment or poverty or mental health or relationships issues that you really want to explore. There'll be time to ask questions, there'll be time to discuss together how this issue impacts you and those around you. So we're also bringing you back Immerse during this term. Immerse is a night when we get to gather together and uh, immerse ourselves in the power and the presence of God. We'll have opportunities to practice using the gifts of the Spirit, to pray and to minister for each other, as well as an opportunity to go really deep in worship. Uh, so it'll be happening on Saturday nights twice a term, so we really look forward to having you there. Do you struggle to read the Bible on your own? or maybe you're, you're not sure where to start, or maybe you just don't know if it's worth reading. I believe the Bible is relevant and it is worth reading. But I know it can be hard to know where to start and it can be hard to do it on your own. So on Monday and Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m., I'm inviting you to join me via Zoom for 20 minutes to read the Bible together. All you need is a Bible and to be half awake and I will lead you through a method of reading that has really helped me to connect with God through his word. So if you would really appreciate some help in kickstarting your Bible reading, then please join me. So this term, After Hours, is back. Um, After Hours is our opportunity to have a night where people, young people in the community, get to come together in a safe place, have some fun, and get to know each other um, and just be a part of the community. It's a really valuable part of the Emmanuel youth work and uh, we're really excited to get it up and running again. It is gonna be a little bit different this time. We're gonna have focused activities each Friday night. So it'll be one specialist activity that you can be a part of um, and you get to come along, uh, meet other people and learn a new skill. Uh, so After Hours is happening every Friday night, term time only, and we'd love you to come along. In 1 John 3.18 it says, let us not just love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. We see this in Jesus. He didn't just come and tell us that we're loved, but he showed us through his actions. And he calls us too to love with our actions. So we want to give you guys the opportunity once a term to get together and do something practical for others. This could be anything from helping gather supplies for the food bank through to fundraising for a charity or a cause that you really believe in. You are only limited by your imagination and COVID-19 guidelines. So if there is a charity that you support or a cause you believe in and you want all of us to get behind you and support it too, then please let Lucy or myself know. 